Hello, in this tutorial, we will see about a PhD program with database connectivity. So for this, we require a XAMPP server. I have already installed it in this system. So first, initially, we will need to stop the XAMPP server and then start it. That is, you have to restart the XAMPP server. So I will type XAMPP control panel. So this is the XAMPP control panel. It has already been in a start state. So first we have to stop it, both the Apache as well as the MySQL. Now we need to start it. So the XAMPP server has been restarted. Now we will move on to the program. Uh, now just to check whether the XAMPP server is running properly in the browser we need to type localhost colon uh, 555 which is actually the port that is allotted for the XAMPP server. So yes the XAMPP server is installed successfully this is because uh, we see that the home page of this uh, XAMPP server is displayed when we type localhost colon uh, double, five, double five, which is the port number that was allotted to the XAMPP server. Now we'll move on to the program. Uh, so all the programs must be created in the location where the XAMPP server resides. So I go into G drive, into the XAMPP folder and into the htdocs folder which is the hypertext document. Uh, so all the programs that we will be doing must be uh, stored within the G drive, within the XAMPP folder, within the htdocs folder, wherein you have to create another folder, say employee. In this tutorial, I have already created the programs that we will be using further on. So inside the employee folder, we need to create some files. So the scenario that is presented in this tutorial is uh, an employee detail management system. So first we will be adding the details of an employee into the database and later on uh, using the employee ID we will be able to retrieve the, uh, the record of an employee. So first we go to an add.html file wherein uh, this is the file. So uh, inside the body tag, we have given a form which is the insert.php. Uh, so moving on to the HTML part, we have uh, asked for the name, ID, date of birth, date of joining experience uh, from the user as an input. And there are two buttons, which is the submit and reset button. So once the values are entered into this uh, text boxes which are these attributes the file the web page will be redirected to this insert.php that is this file will be eva evaluated so in insert.php insert.php this is how you write a php program uh, within less than and greater than angular brackets followed by a question mark and php uh, so these are the attributes that are the employee name employee id date of birth date of joining and the experience so using this dollar underscore get and within the square brackets inside the double quotes you need to specify the field name that was mentioned in the database so we will be creating the database shortly now so in this pro uh, in this few statements we see that the value of the field from the database will be stored on to these variables now in dollarcon is equal to mysqli underscore connect we are actually creating that connection between uh, php and the database 
so if not dollar con then the echo database is not connected so if the dollar con value is say zero then the database will not be connected or but if it is a non-null value then the database gets connected and now you have to select the database so the name of the database here is info and the query will be insert into employee which is the table name and values are the values that will be passed on uh, from the insert.html page whatever value we gave inside the insert.html document in the browser it will be stored into the database now we can print the data has been inserted successfully so now we will see how this works but initially we need to create the database first so first we will be creating the database The database will be created using PHP MyAdmin. So for this program, I have already created the database that is info. And in info, we have a table that is employee. And so actually this is my table with the attributes employee ID, employee name, date of birth, uh, date of joining and the experience. So these values were already inserted during the execution of the program. So now we need to execute the program and see. So that is localhost colon double five double five slash. You need to mention the folder name which is employee slash and it is add.html so here we see that the details have been asked and now the user needs to enter the details so h-a-n-c-y id will be 21 date of birth is 17 slash 01 slash 1997 date of joining will be 01 slash 01 slash 2015 experience uh, say 2 and now I am giving it as insert so here the after the values were inserted into the add.html file those values will be fetched from that file and transferred to the insert.php uh, because in form of action we had given it as insert.php and uh, these values will get inserted into the database so we see that the database is connected and the data has been inserted successfully so now we will just check if they are really inserted into the database so into this php my admin we will give a query as select asterisk from employee so yes so this was the record that was inserted by me now with employee id as 21 employee name is hansi date of birth as 17 not 1 1997 date of joining as not 1 not 1 2015 and the experience is 2 so now we'll see the program to retrieve the value from the database So the corresponding HTML part will be retrieve.html. Uh, so here the form action is given as search.php and you have to input the ID that is the employee ID from the user and when you give submit this ID value will be passed on to search.php. We will see how that is done in search.php. Uh, you have to store the value of employee ID into a variable called ID then you connect to the database as usual and check if the connection has been established yes if it has been established then you have to select the database 
uh, info is the database here. Now the query is a select 